Gardening on heavy clay soil can feel like battling an immovable wall. Every time you try to dig, the spade struggles and water pools on the surface, leaving roots suffocating in dense, compacted earth. But what if there were a natural, living solution that could break through this stubborn clay faster than any shovel or tiller ever could? This is where the magic of deep-rooted plants comes in. One plant in particular, the daikon radish, has earned a reputation among gardeners as the ultimate clay-breaking ally. Its long, tapered roots penetrate hard soil layers, opening pathways for air, water, and beneficial microbes, transforming compacted clay into living, friable soil. The first moment you plant a daikon radish in heavy clay, you are setting in motion a slow-motion demolition of the soil beneath your feet. Unlike surface-level amendments, which require constant turning and can disturb existing soil life, daikon radishes go straight for the deep layers. Their thick taproots can grow over a foot long in just a few months, exerting pressure that naturally fractures the hardpan. As the roots move down, they create channels that water can follow during rains, preventing puddling and helping roots of future crops penetrate with ease. When the radishes eventually decay, they leave behind organic matter in the soil, further improving texture and nutrient availability. Understanding why this works requires a closer look at clay soil itself. Clay particles are extremely small and packed tightly together, creating dense blocks that resist water infiltration and root expansion. Traditional mechanical methods like digging or tilling can temporarily loosen clay, but the structure often recompacts over time, especially under foot traffic or rainfall. By introducing a deep-rooted plant like daikon radish, you allow biology to do the work that machinery struggles with. The root's natural growth exerts a downward and lateral force that physically breaks apart compacted layers, while simultaneously feeding microbial populations with exudates, sugars and compounds secreted by the roots. These microbial communities begin to digest organic matter releasing nutrients and producing substances that improve soil aggregation. Over time this dual action of physical fracturing and microbial stimulation can transform heavy clay into a more workable, fertile medium. When preparing clay soil for daikon radishes, it's essential to start with proper timing and placement. Choose a location that receives full sun as radishes grow fastest in warm, well-lit conditions. Although clay can hold moisture well, it can also stay wet longer than other soil types, so ensure the soil isn't waterlogged, which can stunt root growth or cause rot. Loosen the surface gently with a fork or spade to reduce immediate competition from weeds, but avoid over-tilling which can disrupt natural soil structure. Sow the seeds about an inch deep, spacing them generously to allow each taproot to expand without interference. Overcrowding can limit root growth and reduce the clay breaking effect, so giving each plant room to develop is key. Watering and care are simple but critical. While daikon radishes tolerate clay better than many vegetables, Consistent moisture encourages the roots to grow long and straight, rather than short and stunted. Mulching lightly with straw or shredded leaves helps retain surface moisture, moderates temperature fluctuations, and suppresses weeds that might compete with the radishes for nutrients. Fertilization should be minimal at first. The radish roots are really designed to grow deep even in nutrient-poor soil, and well, too much nitrogen can lead to lush tops at the expense of root development. However, Adding just a small amount of compost near the surface can support microbial activity and provide a gentle boost without hampering that deep root formation. The real transformation begins when the radishes start reaching their maximum size. You'll notice the soil above the buried roots stays just a bit looser compared to untouched clay. And after a few months, pulling up the mature plants reveals the true effect underground. The tap roots have pierced through compacted layers, leaving channels that future plant roots can exploit. Even better, if you chop the tops and leave the roots in the soil to decompose, you are in effect creating an in-situ green manure layer. 
As the radish tissue breaks down, it enriches the clay with organic matter, feeding beneficial microbes, earthworms, and other soil life. These organisms play a crucial role in maintaining soil structure, forming aggregates that resist compaction and enhancing water retention. Daikon radishes also serve as an excellent cover crop in rotation systems. Planting them in fall or late winter allows them to grow during periods when main crops aren't in the ground. Not only do they break up clay, but they also suppress weeds, reduce erosion, and add organic matter. Some gardeners even leave the decaying roots in place for winter, providing an underground refuge for soil life. Come spring, the soil is significantly easier to work, drains better, and has a thriving microbial community ready to support vegetables or flowers. This approach essentially turns clay soil from a static, lifeless mass into a dynamic, living ecosystem. The benefits extend beyond immediate soil improvement. By integrating daikon radishes into your garden, you reduce the need for mechanical tilling, conserve labor, and cut down on energy-intensive interventions. Over successive seasons, repeated planting enhances soil porosity, increases humus content, and improves water infiltration. These long-term effects make clay soil more resilient during droughts, heavy rains, and fluctuating temperatures. For gardeners facing stubborn compacted areas, Daikon radishes provide a sustainable, regenerative solution that complements other practices like mulching, composting, and cover cropping. Beyond soil improvement, these radishes can even serve a dual purpose as a food crop. While primarily grown for their clay-breaking ability, mature daikon radishes are edible, with crisp, slightly sweet roots suitable for cooking, pickling, or fresh salads. Harvesting for consumption should be balanced with soil benefits. Leaving a portion of roots to decompose ensures that the clay-breaking and nutrient-building effect continues uninterrupted. For those aiming to maximize the clay-breaking effect, consider pairing daikon radishes with other soil-building practices. Layering organic matter such as compost, leaf mold, or straw on the surface encourages the radish roots to extend further as they search for nutrients while also feeding microbial populations. Avoid heavy machinery or excessive foot traffic during growth, as compacted surfaces can limit downward root growth. Over time, integrating multiple regenerative techniques amplifies the soil transformation, making clay not just workable, but genuinely fertile. In summary, daikon radishes act as living shovels, penetrating compacted clay, stimulating microbial activity, and leaving behind a richer, more friable soil. The process is elegant in its simplicity. Plant deeply rooted radishes allow them to grow and let biology do what human labor struggles to achieve. From the initial sowing to harvesting or decomposition, every stage contributes to improved structure, better drainage, and increased nutrient availability. Clay soil, once dreaded for its density and waterlogging tendencies, can become an asset, a foundation for lush, thriving gardens. By embracing the power of deep-rooted plants, gardeners turn a physically demanding chore into a natural, self-sustaining process. The daikon radish, with its long, penetrating roots and nutrient-feeding potential, exemplifies this approach. It's more than just a vegetable, it's a soil engineer, a biological tool, and a key ally for anyone seeking to transform dense, lifeless clay into productive, fertile ground. If transforming your clay soil into a thriving, living garden bed feels like a dream, daikon radishes are the simplest, most effective way to start. Experiment with them this season, observe the changes in your soil structure, and integrate them into your regular gardening routine. Your future crops, and your back, will thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to Hydro Haven for more practical, soil-transforming techniques, and share this guide with fellow gardeners who struggle with heavy clay. The journey from hard, lifeless soil to a flourishing garden starts beneath the surface, and now you have the tool to make it happen.